हेलो वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एस एन डी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला आई एम डॉक्टर अर्षद नाने एंड टीचिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग द टूडे टॉपिक इज एलिमेंट क्वालिटी एंड क्राइटेरिया एलिमेंट क्वालिटी क्राइटेरिया इन मेशिंग वी आर द पॉइंट दैट वी आर बी कवर्ड इन दिस टॉपिक आर आस्पेक्ट रेशो स्क्यूनेस वार पेज मिनिमम एंड मैक्सिमम एंगल्स एवरेज एलिमेंट साइज मिनिमम रिफाइनमेंट लेंथ जैकोबियन रेशो एंड हायर ऑर्डर एलिमेंट्स वर्सेस रिफाइनमेंट द एस्पेक्ट रेशो द फिगर शोज द एलिमेंट्स विथ डिफरेंट एस्पेक्ट रेशोज द रेशो बिटवीन लार्जेस्ट एंड द स्मॉलेस्ट कैरेक्टरिस्टिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स डायमेंशन ऑफ एन एलिमेंट इज नोन एज एस्पेक्ट रेशो लार्ज एस्पेक्ट रेशोज इंक्रीज द इन एक्यूरेसी ऑफ द फाइनाइट एलिमेंट रिप्रेजेंटेशन एंड हैव अ डेंट्रीमेंटल इफेक्ट ऑन कॉन्वर्जेंस ऑफ फाइनाइट एलिमेंट सोल्यूशन एन एस्पेक्ट रेशो ऑफ वन इज आइडियल बट कैन नॉट ऑलवेज बी मेंटेन इन जनरल द एस्पेक्ट रेशोज आर मेंटेन इन बिटवीन वन टू फाइव एट क्रिटिकल एरियाज इन ए डोमेन वेयर द डेरिवेटिव ऑफ फील्ड वेरिएबल आर सिग्निफिकेंट along with the solution accuracy and the poor element shapes will often cause a convergence problem in non linear analysis also aspect ratio is one of the other mesh quality parameters like skewness warping maximum corner angle the jacobian and orthogonal quality maintaining element quality is always a challenge for analysts during mesh convergence studies though element size is minimized it is of no use if they are violating quality requirements so it is important to know how to calculate these parameters for different element shapes from triangle abc we have seen join the midpoint and opposite corner of each side l1 join the two mid points of the other adjacent sides l2 the fixing l1 as x is draw parallel lines to the l1 at mid points of the adjacent sides e and f draw perpendicular lines to l1 at ad the find the length ratios between the max side to minimum side of the rectangle 1 form using l1 by l2 this gives the aspect ratio for triangular element is maximum of length ratio divided by under root of 3 In case of quadrilateral and square ratio, the L1 and L2 are shown in the figure. The L1 and L2 are shown in the figure. Then skewness. Skewness is the angular measure of element quality with respect to the angles of ideal element types. It is one of the primary qualities measures of finite element mesh. Skewness determines how close to ideal. a face or cell is there are two different methods for calculating the skewness for 2d elements angular measure method and normalized measure method the figure shows the skewness for equilateral triangle as well as square shaped element for equilateral triangle theta 1 theta 2 then dash up to theta 6 is equal to 90 degree hence skewness is equal to 0 the skewness is defined for triangular shape is skewness is equal to 90 minus minimum of theta similarly for square shape skewness is equal to 90 minus minimum theta for square theta 1 and theta 2 are 90 degree and skewness for square is 0 degree celsius 0 degree this is about this skewness then warpage the figure shows the plane 1 and plane 4 for warpage method warping of an element ideally all the nodes of quadrilateral element should lie on the same plane but at curvatures and complicated geometry profiles it is not possible measure of out of planeness of a quadrilateral is a warping factor or it is also known as warping angle the warping calculation for triangular element is not applicable since three points define a plane this check only applies to quadrilaterals quadrilaterals warping angle it is defined as the angle between the normals of two triangular planes formed by splitting the quadrilateral element along the diagonals 
the maximum angle out of two possibilities it is reported as a warp angle in case of solid elements an element space deviates from being planar a quad is divided into two triads along the its diagonal and the angle between the triads normals is measured the ideal value for warping angle is 0 degree and it is acceptable below the 5 degree to 10 degree next is the minimum and maximum angle the triangular elements are shown in minimum and maximum angles while the quadrilateral elements were shown in the figure as a minimum and maximum angle the mesh matrices are frequently used to access the mesh structures in a ansi machine there are some kinds of mesh matrix options to access the different features of mesh structure one of these mesh matrix in ansi machine is maximum corner angle the logic of maximum corner angle for a mesh structure or mesh element is very basic it defines the biggest angle value inside the geometrical shape that is created as a mesh structure you can understand the logic with the examples shown in the figure when average element size this specifies the average distance between the mesh element nodes the value a fraction of longest model dimension in x y or z direction specifying a smaller value result in a smaller mesh element and an increase in mesh nodes generally the number of elements is inversely proportional to cube of this parameter for bulky models the quarter of this parameter for thin models by default as 0.100 the recommended unless otherwise required 0.12.05 minimum refinement length the figure shows the minimum refinement length or the edges of the solid geometry the minimum refinement length provides control over the weather smaller length scales propagate throughout the mesh this feature does not remove small features but can limit their effect upon local length and mesh scales please note then adjusting the minimum refinement length is one of the most effective tool for improving the mesh and should be attempted when the mesh fails to generate as an example model shows has four very small edges at corners out of cut out each edge is highlighted and is identified with an arrow this improves the mesh on very small features but may increase the number of nodes and elements in your analysis model this is the necessary if important edges fall below the default minimum refinement length in the following uh, image or figure shown in the red circle the minimum refinement length is said to be smaller than the a length of four small edges note the effect on the mesh edges that are longer than the default minimum refinement length are mesh finer and affect neighboring geometry changes to the minimum refinement length affects the model globally and are not isolated to a particular location care must be taken so that the minimum refinement length is not accidentally made larger than other important edges elsewhere in the model doing so will effectively remove the influence on the mesh and may lead to the accuracy issues the next is the jacobian ratio after selecting the jacobian ratio for mesh matrix we can see that minimum maximum average and standard deviation value of jacobian ratios in mesh structure elements also you we can see the dispersion of jacobian ratios of mesh elements along the number of a number of them as a chart for different types in ansys the jacobian ratio of one shows the triangular element while the jacobian ratio of 30 shows the one is, is uh, one length of the triangle is in curve shape while the jacobian ratio of 1000 denotes the curve is finer and finer similarly for rectangular element the jacobian of ratio of 30 shows the two edges in a curve when the jacobian ratio of 100 shows the two edges opposite edges are in very fine curve 
this is the about the jacobian ratio hmm? higher order elements versus mesh refinement becoming more popular in the finite element field higher order elements capture a more complex data representation than they their linear element predecessor and reduce the required number of elements needed to decompose fluid flow stress and other simulation types their representative power simplifies and improves the accuracy of finite element simulation however visualization and analysis of these new types of elements is non trivial conventional simulation methods use linear elements to decompose domains because of their mathematical simplicity as well as an abundance of visualization and analysis tools for their exploration the inherent complexity in raising the degree of the interpolating functional boundary edges directly affects the resulting visualization and analysis methods methods that considered the error introduced at this step are essential in trusting the results okay friends these are the certain element quality criteria like aspect ratios warpage minimum refinement lane minimum corner maximum corner angles and the higher order versus mesh generation thank you